OMG BG! Welcome to another new video guys. Today we're doing another modification. Yo, so, let's go! What are we up to this time? It's uh, another like crafting video where we just like stick random things to base and call that modification. Yep, that's right. Yeah, which bay are we gonna ruin this time, right, guys? It's not or, ruining. We're no, always wait. improving, man. Which one's the lucky or unlucky bay that gets this modification? So, as you guys see from the title of this video, it's gonna be a diamond modification. Bays are always trying to like have that gold edition. They're trying to add additional things to make it like super poppin', right? So, we decided this time we're gonna ice things out with some real diamonds. So, right over here, Look at that, you can't even see it. In this little Ziploc bag, that costed us like 100 bucks for the real diamonds. Pretty ridiculous. Man, diamonds are such rip-offs. All right guys, so this is what we got for a little workshop today, uh, if you'd like to call it that. So first of all, again, we got some real diamonds here. Uh, we still have to make sure that they're real, so um, I do have something later on to test things out with. Um, but there's 50 pieces of these diamonds can barely even tell that there's 50 of them in there. Legit, they look like salt grains. <laughs> <laughs> all good though, once we put them on the base, it's gonna bling it out, all right? Uh, okay, so next up, we have some pretty blinged out diamonds here. So these are actually um, CZ diamonds, so they're not actually legit, um, but we just decided to use them because they look so poppin'. I think if we stick this to the bottom of the bay or around the sides, it's gonna make things look a lot more interesting. Uh, I guess once we, figure out the prototype, maybe then we'll decide to buy thousands and thousands of dollars worth of diamonds to stick them on. Probably not a good idea guys, but uh, yeah, you guys let us know in the comment section below. Yeah, the CZ will, you know, be a good example, right? It'll give us that, that image that we're looking for. It's a good simulation, guys. Yeah, exactly. All right, and uh, I decided to grab from my bathroom, there's a like tweezer here, so I see on videos people use tweezers to grab diamonds because uh, they're so small, so yeah, there we go. Um, got that prepared for us. For that precision. <laughs> exactly. And of course here we have our superstar super glue. You know, spending hundreds of dollars on diamonds but using super glue to stick them on base. Super glue is MVP of like every mod we do. That's right, PBG videos won't be uh, complete without super glue. So there we have it. And um, yeah, I just told you guys earlier, you can't really trust uh, you know diamond dealers nowadays. So we have a trusty diamond tester. All right guys, just to, uh, test things out afterwards when we're complete, uh, just to, to give that authenticity of yeah. the diamonds, you know? Make sure we didn't get scammed. And then we can really call this the diamond mod. So yeah, I guess let's begin and uh, pick our bay, pick our poison. All right, let's take a look at what we got here. Um, I kind of already have an idea of which bay to use, but uh, in your opinion, guys, which one would you guys want to use? Dude. I was thinking of something more like the, from the Sparking series, like something newer. Uh, yeah, what do you think, Brendan? Dude, there's so many bays to pick from, and it's gonna be pretty permanent after we, you know, yeah, do our little mod on using it. Using super glue, so yeah. which one are we gonna ruin? <laughs> or I guess if you want to be optimistic, which one are we gonna upgrade? So I'm thinking more towards using World Spriggan. Um, but yeah, the tip though, I kind of want to change it up because I want to have more surface area so we can stick the diamonds on there uh, a bit better and we can stick more on there. So I'm thinking of using the Mobius driver. So I think that's kind of what we got. It's nice pretty cool flat. too. Yeah, with the free spinning uh, driver and then free spinning uh, chassis. And then we can stick some diamonds on there and it'll be like a free spinning diamond. Right guys? So I guess we got to get started then. Um, we have to be kind of careful not to mess around too much in this area because we still need to be able to put the launcher in properly so we can launch it and battle it. And so yeah, make sure you stay tuned till the end of the video because we are going to be battling with this Diamond Beyblade, even though we haven't made it yet, so no idea how it's going to turn out. <laughs> Or 50 pieces of diamond. Here we go. All that time putting in all that work, it wasn't the real stuff. 
<laughs> that was just for aesthetics. Yeah, let's see him. I can't tell if it's a uh, dust or if it's the uh, diamond. Legit, like I was saying, you put this in like a salt shaker. <laughs> salt greens, man. Dude, there's 100 bucks right here. Don't make fun of my diamonds. It's crazy how much diamonds cost. Wow, it legit just looks like dust on there. It's like, yo, can you clean our stadium? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's put them to work. Glue them on. All right, so we're just doing some finishing touches on our bay. It's looking pretty crazy. Just gonna wash off the residue from the super glue because it's leaving these like really weird white spots around the diamonds. And so this is gonna clear things up a bit more. It'll look better. And here we go, guys. The final reveal of World Spriggan, the blinged out, iced out edition. <laughs> So look at that. We added uh, you know, lots of diamonds around the sides. We got a free spinning chassis. Looking pretty sick. It's actually funny, when you grab onto the bay, it's pretty sharp. Because you got the edges of the diamonds all around. And then when we flip it, Yo, that's the craziest side, part. That's when you see the sick performance that you'll see in the stadium in a bit. We added some aesthetic designs in here, also along the edges there so yeah free spinning on the tip as well actually looks pretty sick it's a little bit scary um i'm scared the diamonds will fly off actually that's actually my only worry when they're battling <laughs> yeah because we're not actually making real jewelry we're just using super glue <laughs> it kind of made me feel like a jeweler though when i was using this uh tweezer oh, so def. maybe uh when my youtube career ends i can be a jeweler and of course we're gonna whip out the diamond tester and then we're gonna show you guys the real diamonds. And of course guys, just as a disclaimer, again, these are not real diamonds. These are just for the looks, Yeah, right? the big ones. The big ones. We do have some real diamonds stuck around uh, the edges and the middle portion of the bay. Just so we can call this a diamond bay blade, we gotta whip out the diamond tester and tell you guys that this is real. So show you guys here. So we try it out on the plastic piece there. So, you know, no reaction, right? Now let's try it on our real diamonds right over here. Let's go for it on our metal chip. Oh, nice. Iced out. All right, guys. Now we can call this a real diamond bay blade. For real. So it'll take another minute to admire this World Spriggan Diamond Edition uh, bracket, real diamond. Kind of, you know, <laughs> and 99% CZ. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, we have no idea what we're doing. Um, I guess it worked out in a way. So what do you guys think? Here's a really zoomed in shot of our real diamonds in action. Um, yeah, that's our World Spriggan Diamond Edition. We're gonna have to battle this guy as well. So hopefully the diamonds don't fall off. And also I need to decide which bay we're gonna put this up against because I feel like it might I don't know if it's gonna damage the diamonds or the diamonds are gonna damage the base, so. So, you know, diamonds are one of the strongest materials on earth. So adding into a Beyblade just makes it super powerful, right? <laughs> Maybe. Except all the parts that are touching another Beyblade are all fake plastic ones. <laughs> but also, um, by the way, it's it kind of hurts when you grab the bay, like. It's so sharp. It's so sharp. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Yo, it's moving around the outside. And it's not coming out. Yo, this might be like some next level bay that can ride along the outside, but not, you know, get knocked out. Uh, yeah, time to do some test battles. All right, your first opponent is going to be a really tough one. Are it's going to be a Rage Longinus. Yo, you might damage my diamonds right away. Let's use the, somebody more pain. Let's use the this diamonds. The diamonds are supposed to damage me. <laughs> All right. Three, Three two, two, one, go shoot. Ooh. Okay, no diamonds fall out yet. I'm happy about that. That's nice. It's good. But how's the stamina with the super pointy tip? You must have like 30 diamonds in the bottom there. Sick. Yo, yo, <laughs> most powerful Beyblade. <laughs> okay, so now that it kind of passed the test, I'm gonna launch it the hardest. Okay, do it. Three, Three two, two, one. one. <laughs> nice knock, 
Three, two, one. Oh! It's the power of diamonds. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh! me and the diamond actually just flew <laughs> towards me i saw something happening and now we lost it and i saw some rubber fall off too like little specks so those pointy edges are definitely digging into the uh the imperial dragon lair all right big bad boss super crazy attack type all or nothing so launch hardest right three, three two, two one, one. Shoot. take that wow Take Ooh, that! <laughs> guys, crazy mod. So much recoil. Yeah, I feel like the driver, especially, is very difficult to knock it out. There's a lot of grip. Three, Three two, one. Two. Two. Oh, hard hit. Come back. Oh, yes. nice. Diamond Spriggan. Diamond Spriggan. Oh, that's a good name. Good name, right? Three, Three two, two, one. Two. Two. Whoa. Whoa! Huge hit! Diamond's coming back to life. Oh my goodness, dude, the recoil's crazy! I'll steal some spin, longness. But those edges. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. Alright, I think that's, uh, that's that was a pretty good battle. I don't want to continue battling because who knows, more diamonds will fly off, which means more money wasted. So let's keep them on there. Uh, maybe one day we'll see this in the museum. Alright guys, so that's basically it for our diamond mod video. Went uh, pretty well, I guess. Uh, if there's one thing we learned in this episode of uh, our videos, uh, we learned that diamonds isn't just for looks, it's uh, for performance as well. So there you go guys, Diamond Beyblade, we did it once again guys! And uh, what you guys think? So yeah, what did you guys think of this video? Uh, let us know in the comment section below. Alright, that's it, thanks for watching. As always, Geeks, Geeks out!